believe that um, there is something fundamentally different, and it's not going to be in R and D because you know let's 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 face it, R and D has been virtual for quite a bit of time. You you can you can have an entire virtual R and D team working from home. You know, to a certain degree, finance, HR, legal, all of these functions were always um, able to develop tools and processes and, and, and work remotely. But somehow go to market uh, and sales in particular seemed to be the last fortress where you, know, you found a lot of people that told you that unless you can get in front of a customer, you can't complete a, a multi-million dollar enterprise transaction. And so I think that's the big change. I think that even the diehard uh, old school salespeople that uh, for you know the last few years were convinced that that particular aspect of the selling process would never change, have to take a step back and realize that that's not true anymore. And so I think that this crisis is creating a situation where you're going to have winners and losers that are going to be largely determined by the sales force leadership willingness to lean into the change. And I think that that's particularly exciting for Aviso because we can be an enabler of that change with, with limiting the downside risk of it and, and really providing a level of intelligence that uh, was never available before. I think the corollary is that, you know, I'm thinking of, of go to market as in, in a lot of cases, largely um, still a zip code coverage deployment model. You know, of course, everybody is trying to get away from the most basic aspect of that, but it still remains largely um, related to where you're physically located. And I believe that uh, the super sales force of the future is one that will be able to combine for one particular deal, the best resources that exist across the globe in the enterprise to go and put the best foot forward in front of a customer, hopefully get the PO, disassemble that unit and reassemble another unit as quickly and, and fluidly as possible. Now, you know, conceptually it's wonderful, but it's difficult to implement. But I do believe that, that some companies are going to be able to do that. They're going to be able to change their business model from, from a go-to-market standpoint. And if you can be virtual, and on top of that, bring to each virtual sales unit the best talent that you have with that particular customer problem around the globe, then you have an incredible competitive advantage.